in this video I am recasting the Masters in Doctor Who. Now differently to the Doctors, who I think each had their own unique portrayal, that was more important to get them close to each personality. This one I feel is more of the same character but played by different actors and if I just recast randomly on personality basis you'd just get more close to a new incarnation. So I think to recast each actor you'd have to get really really close to the original actor to avoid just creating a new incarnation. Roger Delgado. This one is the earliest incarnation of the master that we have seen on screen and he's a very very different version to what we see later on. He's much more of a subtle businessman than a maniacal evil person. You need to have somebody who can play a lot of detailed subtlety and also somebody who seems very very much in control. Somebody who we can see as a leader rather than a rebellious child. I've seen this casting around a few times and I cannot improve on it so I'm going to say Ben Kingsley. He's more of an older actor who has had more experience and I think he could touch all those perfect undertones of the businessman sort of master rather than the maniacal screaming laughing psychopath that we see later. And I also think he's as close as you could get to a look-alike for Roger Delgado. So my choice for Roger Delgado is Ben Kingsley. Anthony Ainley. This one is where it starts to divert into the more insane side of it. He's a very, very subtle performer, very, very lightly spoken. And he also likes to dress up in a lot of costumes, so you need somebody who can play other characters. For this master, I think you need somebody who can be a lot more subtle, even more subtle than Delgado. Somebody who can play a single layer of personality almost, but still make that an interesting layer. I think the perfect actor for this role would be Ben Miller. He's an actor who can play that softer, more delicate side of the master. Somebody who can also have a lot of evil to him. And I think in Robots of Shearwood we saw a lot of that coming through. So my choice for Anthony Ainley's master is Ben Miller. Eric Roberts. This one, you need a very, very different portrayal. Somebody who can play somebody who's not even remotely human. This master, you need to really go crazy. This is a guy who's not exactly a laughing psychopath, but he's somebody who is completely crazed. You can see it, he doesn't even play remotely humanly in the movie. Somebody who is chewing the scenery, but in a very, very delicate, subtle manner. I think the perfect actor for this role would be Jeff Goldblum. He's charming, he's sophisticated, but also, he's on a completely different plane to the rest of humanity, and I think he would be amazing as the master. He has that brilliantly camp nature that could pull off any of these lines, but also be very, very terrifying, and you just know he isn't human. He could really stand out as his master, and I think he could get really close to Eric Roberts' insane performance. So my choice for Eric Roberts is Jeff Goldblum. Derek Jacobi. Now this one, similar to John Hurt's Doctor, needs to be somebody who is an old English actor, somebody who's sophisticated, somebody who can play that wonderfully bewildered scientist, but also has that dark side that he can pull out for the last five minutes of the episode, while also again still being quite subtle and quite in control of the role. I think Anthony Hopkins would be brilliant. We've seen him as Hannibal Lecter bringing that wonderful terrifying performance while also doing very very little to achieve it. I think he would be an amazing duplicate for Professor Yana too. He's also got that presence that you only get from somebody of his age and his stature in British acting. So my choice for Derek Jacobi is Anthony Hopkins. John Sim. This one I feel you need somebody who can be very very versatile because we see this master go through a lot of incarnations. It needs to be somebody who is young, who can play that Prime Minister Harold Saxon in Series 3 and snap it into that evil, maniacal side of the Master that we saw for the first time in this incarnation, then through to End of Time, where he plays almost that young, childish emo version, and then through to Doctor Falls, where he's got that ancient side him that's almost Delgado in some aspects, and even play Mr. Razor too. You need somebody who can also play the comedy aspect, because he is by far the funniest Master at that point. My choice is Simon Pegg. As we saw as the editor in The Long Game, he will be a brilliant master in that cold, calculated evil side, while also being slightly baffled by the Doctor being able to defeat him. We've seen in The World's End how he could play that completely psychopathic, perhaps even emo side of the master that we saw in The End of Time. And I think he could also play a very, very good aged master in Series 10. And also, as we've seen 
in Shaun of the Dead and in Ice Age. He has that brilliant comedic side that I think would be a perfect match for John Sim. So, my choice for John Sim is Simon Pegg. Michelle Gomez. Now this one, by the very virtue of it existing, is very difficult to cast. She was almost a pioneer, in a way, of a mainstream TV show casting an older woman in what would be an older man's role. Women of this age are usually cast stereotypically as mothers, as wives, as older women, and you very rarely see them getting their teeth into a role such as the master, because he's always stereotypically cast as a man. So having a female actor out there who has shown the ability to get this role done would be quite difficult because women aren't normally given the opportunity for that casting. She needs somebody who can play slightly sexual but not going too far with that. Somebody who can be in control and also someone who's not murdering for the fun of it. She just does it out of habit almost. So you don't need somebody who's completely insane but somebody who can just sort of kill people without it bothering them at all. I think the perfect person for this role is somebody we've already seen Moffat cast in Madame Cavalian, which is Frances Barber. She's the perfect age range for Missy, and I feel all the personality traits that she brought to Madame Cavalian would translate perfectly to Michelle Gomez's master. So my choice for Michelle Gomez is Frances Barber. Sasha Dewan. This one I found rather tough because, in a way, Sasha Dewan is the perfect person around to play this role, and he's only just got it. I think it's important to cast a British Indian actor, somebody around a similar age range to Sasha Dwan. You need somebody who can play completely maniacal, completely childish, but also in control. He's got something ancient behind those eyes. In many ways, he plays all the masters at once. They also need to be able to play O, somebody who's working for MI, but also is entirely out of his depth, somebody who can play the comedic side of it. Originally, my idea for this one was Adil Ray, who I think would play both of those sides perfectly. But I'm not sure that I've seen Adil do many acting roles rather than comedy roles that would lend himself to the depth that Sasha Dwan brought to this. For the experience alone, I would have to say Himesh Patel. I think he would play O oh brilliantly, and I think, given the opportunity, he could really bring the psychopathic side to the master. So my choice for Sasha Dwan is Himesh Patel. Let me know in the comments what you think of my choices, and also perhaps share some of your own casting choices. I hope you enjoyed this video, bye bye for now.